Hello and thank you so much for joining me, Alex Glazer, with Coldwell Banker Vaughn & Company Real Estate for your February 2014 market update. So I wanted to start off this week, I got a couple new really exciting things I wanted to jump into before we started the market update. So let's check it out. So the first thing I wanted to show you was just real briefly uh, talk about the new MLS system, which stands for Multiple Listing Service we have here for the Board of Realtors. So I know not a lot of you have you know, ever seen the realtor side of the multiple listing service, but the reason I wanted to bring it up is because if you're one of my great clients uh, that receives updates, either daily, weekly, monthly, uh, on any sort of basis, you may have noticed a shift within the last couple of weeks, uh, how it looks different than how it looked previously. Um, the big benefit to you is not only is you know, the new multiple listing service a whole lot more in depth in terms of what we can do in creating searches, the big benefit is on your side on the client portal, you can actually do your own searches directly in the multiple listing service, uh, separate from the ones I set up for you. So if you don't currently have a search set up and you are interested in what direct access to the multiple listing service, uh, just give me a call or shoot me an email and I can make sure to set that up for you. The next big thing I wanted to check out, and uh, if you've never done it before, I would definitely recommend it is uh, if you go to Google, you can either search Richmond Association of Realtors or you can type in the www.rarealtors.com. For me, you know, I just start typing it in. It's the first thing that pops out, Richmond Association of Realtors. Uh, the one thing I wanted to show you here is uh, actually just public to anyone who wants to come here. You can come and see very in-depth monthly market analyses. And this is actually the same information that I have access to, and they post it here publicly. Uh, if you go up to the top to CVR MLS and go to Housing Reports, you can see in the last couple years, month to month, quarterly summaries, yearly summaries of what's been happening right here in Richmond. So, and if we come down to 2014, January, that's what we're going to be talking about this month. And I want to check out the single family plus condo townhome uh, for the Richmond metro area. And that's going to be the main shift I'm going to be making. If you go back to last year, I was encompassing most of central Virginia. Uh, this year, I'm really just going to focus on, you know, closer into Richmond metro, which includes Chesterfield County, Hanover County, Henrico County, and then the city of Richmond. Uh, single family and condo townhouse type properties. You know, of course, I still have all the access to, you know, all the other surrounding counties, Goochland, Powhatan, Amelia, New Kent, et cetera. And if you're interested in finding out more about the broader picture or your county specifically, just let me know and I can create those custom reports and get you some you know, detailed information that way. So to start off our market update here for this month, let's zoom in and take a really close look at what happened last month, January 2014. We can see that last month uh, we only ended up with 3,646 homes for sale at the end of the month. Uh, we started off at the beginning of the month even lower than that. And compare that to you know, your January inventory of 2013 of 4,078 now we're at an extremely low inventory level here in and around Richmond. And then we come up and we take a look and see how many homes actually sold last month. We had 943 homes go under contract in January here uh, in and around Richmond, which is an uptick from you know, the previous year of only 871. So sales are going up, inventory is going down. And the result of that is we have a three and a half month supply of homes at the current rate of what's active for sale and what's selling. And that definitely puts us well into the position of a seller's market. You know, I can tell you firsthand, we just listed a house two days ago. And within two days, we've had five showings. We have four more scheduled. And uh, we should be expecting an offer here by the end of the day. So if you've been considering moving here this spring, you know, now is a great time because there are buyers looking for homes. And they're having trouble finding stuff because there's just not a lot available. And, um, you know, put it on the market, even though it's still a little cold out, um, there were definitely the spring market is upon us uh, and you can beat the rush and it just put you a little bit more advantage uh, when there's less competition for you to sell. So what does all this mean? Well, if we take a look and look at everything compared uh, year over year, I know that the uh, January 2014 mark isn't on the graph yet because we need at least two months for that graph to start. But if we just look comparatively, you know, to how January 2014 started versus January 2013. 
Uh, what the marketplace is clearly showing is we're gearing up for a strong seller's market here in the spring unless we get a large influx of inventory, which at the moment, you know, I haven't seen it quite yet. You know, we're definitely going to either way have a, a busy spring here in Richmond. So that's it for this month. Thank you so much for joining me, Alex Glazer with Cobalt Banker Vaughn & Company Realtors. If you have any questions at all about this market update or just anything real estate general at all, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email here at the uh, info below. Otherwise, I look forward to talking to you next month.